Oh hi! Welcome to another reaction review video with me Nina Schofield, singer-songwriter, vocal coach and session musician and big Morissette fan. Did not see this particular... that felt really... <laughs> did not see this particular cover coming. This is Morissette doing Olivia Rodrigo's new single which is one of the biggest debuts of all time. Uh, driver's license and it says that it's a bear cover so is this a cappella or just with piano or guitar I don't know we're gonna find out we're gonna watch and just see what Morissette does with it two completely contrasting vocals Olivia's and Morissette's so it's always interesting to see how one artist covers another artist's song and makes it their own makes it unique or just does it you know the same as the original who knows? Are you ready to watch with me? Here we go. I'm excited. Okay, Morissette. Oh. I got my driver's license last week Just like we always talked about As you were so excited for me To finally drive up to your house But today I drove through the suburbs uh, so completely a cappella. I wonder if this will be the same all the way through. Wow, how exposing. To do an a cappella like this is, it is like bearing your soul in a way, especially with an emotive song like this one. So kudos to Morissette already for doing this. I love the sounds of the city. Who always made me doubt She's so much older than me She's everything I'm insecure about Yeah, today I drove through the suburb And there we had that pull and push just on one word at, at a time Morissette has this ability to go in and out on those one word bits Because <laughs> how could I ever love someone and I know we went perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Nice. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Oh. Cause you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Cause you said forever now I drive alone. Do you know what this is doing? It's making me appreciate the song even more. When you hear a vocal a cappella and you can still understand how the music would be underneath that song, even if you've never heard the song before, if you just heard the a cappella and you still think that's that's a great song, that's when you know it's a really good song. So Morissette is really doing it justice here because she's telling the story of the song through her dynamic control, through her calm approach to this. She's taking her time with it. She's not rushing through. Something that's tricky about acapellas is that you almost want to fill the space. It's a natural human instinct to fill space. We don't like silence. And so to do this kind of a, a performance, you need to be comfortable with that silence, which I think the Morissette really truly is. And we're, we're, we're really hearing all the different parts of her vocal that are pretty to me. Um, the cry, the, the dynamic control, as we said, the little flips that she has sound great in this song. And all my friends are tired of hearing how much I miss you, but I kind of feel sorry for them because they'll never know you the way that I do. Today I drove through the suburbs. And pictured I was driving home to you. Mm. And I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Oh, that was great. We had the little almost change run. I want to call it that because it's like you're going between two notes and putting a slight trill in the center of it to get down. But her approach there was different. 
I don't know if you saw me kind of looking more intently, but it was like a a grittier approach in that part. And I just can't imagine how you could be so kind oh. There's a lovely reverb on this. Again, there, that's my favourite part of the song. Oh, I love it so much. But that part, if you think about how it is in the original with all the vocals built around it, to get that right in an a cappella is difficult. But she has this, this tone, this tonality. Oh, she gets it. She gets this song. Morissette really does. And she carries that section so nicely. I could listen to that again and again. There's something about how that part of the song is written as well. It is so wistful and... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know, there's something about it and the way that the chords change underneath. Again, I can hear how the chords are changing underneath even though this is a cappella. Ah. The grittiness. Wow. The thing about this performance that's capturing me at the moment is the fact that Morissette isn't relying on things that maybe we've heard in her songs before that we're listening out for. So there, there are a couple of little squeak cries and things within this, but actually it's not about the vocal riffs and runs or that or anything like that. It's about the, the emotion and the emotive capture that she has and her ability to tell a story within a song. That's what I'm getting from this. I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Cause you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Oof. Cause you said forever now I travel no past the street. It's all in the eyes. Having those sounds, oh, it's giving me the goosebumps because it's that extra level, that extra layer of, I don't know, it's just that je ne sais quoi, you know? Yeah, wow, that was, that was not what I was expecting, but everything I kind of wanted from that cover, from Morissette. I feel like she just hit the nail on the head with that one. Took us somewhere that the song, I don't know, when you do a cover, you if you're gonna do a cover of a song, I feel like it should either do something completely different or be as good as the original in some sense. And I feel like that's what Morissette did with that. Uh, an acapella version. Genius, loved it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments box down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here. And you can of course find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield. And you can find links to my Wizio page where I can help you out with your singing and answer any questions you might have for me. Alongside links to my own music, I have a new single out called Not Perfect Now. Uh, you can watch the music video for that here and to my Spotify playlist Healing Hits and they're all in the description box down below and links to my merch as well and I will see you again very soon. Love ya, bye!